Am I turning professional in golf? Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Oh man, it feels good to be back. I just got back from the beach. I just took a week off and didn't even touch a club. Guys, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Luke Peavy, and thanks for stumbling across my channel. So the question you guys really want to know, and I've been asked this question many, and many, and many times. Am I turning professional in golf? I'm going to get straight to it and tell you the answer right now. No. God. Stupid fly. Why am I not turning professional in golf right now? Until I become a top amateur in my state and also a top amateur in the world, I do not think it's a wise decision for me to turn professional. That will answer that question. It's plain and simple. I will remain an amateur, especially through this summer season because I already signed up for the USAM qualifier and other qualifiers. I also wanna thank you guys for watching these videos. It's crazy to think that just this year, we've grown to 1,300 subscribers already. 5,000 is my goal by the end of the year. I think we can easily do that, boys. I think you guys got that. Uh, hit that subscribe button, maybe a little like for the boys. Only 20% are actually subscribed that watch my videos. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Nice little coffee to get me going. Let's dive into your questions. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll plug it right here because I did a poll on my Instagram. I also do a ton of trick shots because people love to see those. Let's fire away at these Q and A's, baby. Now, a few of these are pretty funny. So what's the future of this channel? Great question. The future of this channel is actual tournament vlogs and these are gonna be even better than the ones I had in college. Now they will be individual based. Also, I'm gonna be having a ton of matchups with, let's say, McKenzie Tour players, college players, D1, D2, Corn Ferry players, things like that. I am working on a brand right now, a golf company actually. Very exciting, it's gonna come out in the next 100 days, so you guys better watch out for that one. Jonathan Cheeseman asked, if I weren't playing golf, what would I be doing? First thing I could come to my mind would be a magician. Surprising people and making them astonished in my magical ways. How to make more clutch putts. Okay, question by Caleb Peavy. My brother, put pressure on yourself as you're practicing and mentally think that you are there in the pressure putt moments and make over and over again those putts. Whoa, ladies. We had a lady say single or not. Uh, I am single but I'm really not looking for anything right now because I'm married to the game, you know? Married to the game. So that's that's all I gotta answer to that question. Haven Sadlock said, what's the hardest part of adjusting to college golf? I'd say the hardest part is time management. You stay up super late, some people party. I wake up early, so I go to sleep a little early. Staying up till like 12 and one was just, it was, I was like, whoa. I had 8 AMs my freshman year, holy cow. Another girl asked me, will you teach me how to play golf? Um, maybe. Would you guys like to see me teaching girls how to golf or girl matchups? Now, if I did a girl matchup and I lost, I would probably delete my channel and I would have to retire. Okay, Jorge asked, Starbucks or Dunkin'? Oh, this is a great question. Starbucks has a lot more specialty drinks in the coffee era. <laughs> I sound like a coffee expert right now. Dunkin' has my more everyday kind of thing. I'm not gonna go to Starbucks every day. Now it's a special occasion. Yeah, I'll go to Starbucks because it's so expensive. Not gonna waste a $5 bill just on a coffee. Now a $2 bill, $3 bill. What degree in college did you finish with? I finished with a marketing degree. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So now I'm pretty much marketing myself. Uh, Ty Boone Golf asked, what's your plan with golf? I will never stop competing in golf. I will always play tournaments because that's just how I am. Now. I do have the state amateur coming up qualifier, and then I have the USAM qualifier, and also a few other tournaments I'll be playing this summer. Keepa, why doesn't she love me back? You just gotta start making more putts, that's why. Have I thought about coaching a golf team in high school or college? I really, oh my stupid fly, I really have not thought about that. I mean, it would be fun, but I'm just, I like to play. Who does TMU have coming in next year? Is everyone else returning? 
To my knowledge, everybody else is returning that was in that top five except for me. And who do they have coming in? I know Coach mentioned a few players coming in that were pretty good golfers, so they should do pretty well next year, really well. Connor Steele asked, what made you take up golf? Uh, it started out when I was 12, and I come from a background of playing baseball, but in baseball I was left-handed, and golf I was right-handed, didn't really make sense. I never really even tried to hit left-handed in golf. It's just like everybody else, you just kind of get addicted to the game. You can see improvement so fast. Handicap, uh, currently at plus 0.3. Faith Fry said, hair care routine. I hop up in the shower, put shampoo in it. I get out of the shower, I blow dry it because it takes forever to dry. And that's pretty much it. Hoder.4 said, what's your go-to food for a road trip? I'm a sucker for sour Skittles. Sour Skittles and some coffee or white monster. That's my go-to. I don't really like food food. I like a little candy, a little sour candy. Vic Mincy asked, how are you so cool? I I don't know if I'm even cool, so. Tucker Jolly asks, AKA, maybe my cameraman for my next video. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not doing something that I wish I would have done. What other colleges were you looking at and what did you shoot freshman year? Well, freshman year, I did shoot a 74 at Region, which was the best I ever shot. Other colleges, I did email D2 schools. I was talking to them, but it just happened that I went to Drew McConnell. Ooh, Austin asked, me and Austin play together, actually at Pinehurst. Funniest and best shot you saw over your college career was a USAM qualifier. Now this was funny. This guy introduced himself. He's like, yeah, I played for Auburn back in the day. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. It must be a pretty good golfer. So he gets up there, he first tee off and hits a shank right off the first tee box. And I just, I looked at my caddy and I was dying. I was like, I knew I was, I had to hit second. So I was like, oh my. Gosh, I said, I have to back that up. And heck, I hit it in the rough and felt like I striped it compared to him. Uh, another girl asks, I want to know everything about you. This must be the 1% of girls that watch my YouTube channel. Very slim, but they must love golf. All right, so that's pretty much going to do it. I'm excited for this journey, and this is going to be an epic summer. A lot of tournament vlogs, a lot of matchups. Also, the company coming out soon. It's exciting. And I'm glad I can do this for you guys because this has always been a dream of mine. I, I love making videos. I'll never stop making videos. I mean, without you guys, I really wouldn't be able to even do this. It's awesome, all you guys subscribing. Who would have thought this year I would be doing this? I've always dreamed of doing it, and I finally put my mind to it and said, I'm gonna do it. Give this video a like. Here we go. Summer edition is here. We're back to summertime. So now it's time to grind. It's gonna be epic summer, guys. I'm excited to just film all these crazy opportunities. Maybe with GM Golf. Go spam GM Golf and say you need a matchup with Luke Peavy. I love you guys. You guys know the drill. 8 p.m. Wednesday. We're out here doing it. See you next week. Punish, punish.